there's something to this, but they didn't really think much of it. And now we're like here at this point in time, and there's so many Zero Suit players coming through, all of them having, you know, relatively good results. When Mars is on his game, he's probably the best player in the world yeah. when he's on his game. Yeah. So it's um it's a good time to be a Zero Suit Samus fan, but a bad time for trying to really label down exactly where she is on the tier list because yeah. it kind of largely depends on the player that's uh, using her, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I feel like she's had a little bit of a shift in this game. She went from being kind of like grab heavy and smash forward, and now she's just way more mobile on the ground, has way better normal moves, and can like combo a little bit more outside just going for grabs. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Zero okay. Suits. okay, okay, okay. Ditto time. Three, Two blondes on two, the screen. One, go! Um, all right, they're doing uh, some quick button checks. And I'm not sure who is who. Yeah, this they're just throwing us for a loop right now. Could you imagine if they get out of this button check and one of them like goes from zero suit to uh, uh I don't know, not that what's did happen. <laughs> that, <laughs> that did happen earlier. Yeah, strike one Mario on the button check and then yeah, not trying to tip his hand in the blind pick. So I believe Pain is uh, player two. Got confirmation, Pain's uh, player two. I think Pain's player two. Pain in the gray. And here we go, game one. Zero suit Samus Dittos. See how this goes. I, I do think uh, one thing about Zeus that's really changed in this game is for side B being returned as a kill option and that new forward air way easier to combo uh, in this game. Yeah, definitely in the neutral, just using the rising forward air covers a lot of options. So I'll be interested to see because, you know, I think in terms of RPS, Zero Suits, are good. they like to short hop the setup for that neutral air. You know, that's where they get a lot of mileage out of uh, follow ups. But that rising forward air is the counter to the. Uh, Delayed, uh, you know, landing neutral air. So we'll see how they're able to navigate that RPS. And you see the Zare being mixed in to cover a lot of those options as well from a longer distance. It seems like Sauna's using it a little bit more often than Pain is. Pain kind of going for that more traditional uh, method of just going in hard with that forward air. All right. Pain knows facing really well around what Jeff wants to do. Oh, yeah. I felt that boost kick coming. One of her more common out of shield options and uh, one of her main kill setups, too. Okay, tech chase? No. Nope. Nice. Maybe you didn't know that the tech chase situation was about to happen because you saw him standing up for a bear follow up, just didn't know about the platform. Alright, Jeff's, like Jeff's off stage. Looking really strong right here. Going back and forth. Nice, a nice cross up there on the shield and then immediately got the shield hook with the back air. Jeff taking the first stock. Yeah, paying a little bit on the ropes and, you know, Ali doesn't mean a whole lot until they start getting the wheels turning, the damage is happening. Ooh. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely gonna kill, even from full screen. Jeff trying to feel himself a little bit too much, going for a pivot grab. Yeah, run through pivot grab, a smash four off. Oh yeah, you can't do that run through pivot grab anymore, bro. I feel like he was going to go for a run-through pivot grab, back throw, down B uh, as a uh, mix-up option, but you can't do that in this game, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> Tech chase? No. Still gets the back air, though. Uh, that's one of the ways you can use, I believe that's her new for, uh, forward throw. It's, it puts him in a tech situation, you get like, some follow-ups from there. You just got to be patient. Uh, and, uh, speaking of patience, pain using that to make this match way more in his favor. Yeah, doing a good job of battling back because it's starting to Ooh. look a little one side. Whoa, wow. Really great trade for Pain. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't get like a death from being buried like that, but he still got the down smash out in time. And uh, he couldn't get that much damage on uh, Pain because he was already stunned from the down smash. But doesn't get the berry animation on that flip jump. They might be fishing for it at this point because flip jump, uh, oh wow, no boost out of the parry, honestly. But that up smash is a kill option as well. Yeah, it kind of caught him sleeping, uh, you know, it's like, Jeff had a little bit of autopilot with the flip jump back on the stage. And Payne being the crafty zero suit main, knowing how to counter that option, just threw out a media hitbox. 
It was out there for days and I smash took the stop. Okay. Go for the back throw here. See if he can wait out his jump. Payne's playing smart though, not giving him what he wants. He's Jeff though. Down smash catch the neutral get up. I'm, a, I'm super surprised that Payne committed to that neutral get up when he was charging so long. Yeah, it could have gone for anything, like maybe a, a get up attack. Yeah. Or the you know that uh, let's drop flip jump and do go for the berry. Yeah. Very surprised he uh, let Jeff get that setup, but great stuff on his part, keeping the game super close. But drop shield on the last part of the side B. Now I believe if you hold the side B, it pulls them in above you. The combo's double nair. Oh, not gonna hit the spike, but that is a good hit. Uh, he confirmed he hit the edit damage. Rolls past the down smash. Probably what Payne should have done earlier. Good empty hop into the landing grab. And, you know, uh, Jeff's got his work cut out for him, but it's not out of the question. Get a oh. couple more. Nair's the Bears. Oh, going deep off stage. Oh, barely grabs the legend time. All right. Payne said the glitch up here. Flip jumps past the down smash. Boost kick. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Game one, Jeff over Payne. Uh, very roller coaster for a match. It looked like, you know, Jeff started roaring out in front and then Payne battled back to take the lead and it was had a pretty substantial lead. But Jeff held it together just long enough to steal a victory out on game one. Oh, uh, yeah, really close match there coming up for Jeff. I like the choice of the flip jump to punish uh, Payne's down smash the ledge. He's caught up sleeping. Got the very animation to be up the up I didn't see what stage they're going to. Uh, maybe Smashville? Yeah, they're going to Smashville. Looking for maybe a little smaller stage, and they're just going at it right now. And, of course, Payne wanting to come out strong, you know, send a message. He dropped that first game after having such a lead. And of course, if you're on Jeff's side, you have house money to play with. Time to be a little flashy, you know. We saw him starting to get the wheels turning, get a little, uh, you know, start feeling himself and start feeling the moment. Oh, it's definitely working out for him, man. Honestly, I feel that his aggressive play is uh, throwing Payne off just a little bit. It's Warrior uh, Shield. Nice trade there coming out from Payne. Still spacing out where uh, Jeff wants to jump in neutral. Nice. Grab tech chase. Oh, it goes for it. Don't blame him at 91 by the ledge. Might kill the. Oh my goodness, watch out for that flip jump spike. Yeah, if he Jeff got that, that would have been an amazing play. Had him off stage and try to track oh. him down. Oh, oh nice timing. It. Oh, and gets the spike out of it, Jeff. So clean right now. I feel like they're going like even in the neutral though, but when it comes to punish game, Jeff is just slightly edging out pain. Yeah, we saw two similar situations where they're going for that, you know, the spike off stage. And in that situation, Kane didn't get his spike, but Jeff Ooh. did, and that's the difference. And even a very good side special to clean up that stock, caught the landing option. And, yeah, not a bad throw. Just Samus did all these players so evenly matched going at it. Tech chase? Nope, doesn't get the roll in, but it's facing on the stage. Jeff staying safe. Oh, nice, the second hit of the border. Gets the paper grab as well. Yeah, yeah Jeff definitely stage. turned up the Jets. Nice. So, oh, okay, there you the go. Okay. They needed a little bit of momentum. It's starting to look like, uh, you know, Jeff was starting to pull away just a little bit. But Payne holding his own, doing his best. Gets the grab, here we go. He's got a tech chase situation. Nice. nice, great use of that forward throw to just get right in his face. Make him keep guessing where he's gonna go next. But the last hit of the up smash. Jeff's with no good spot. Nice tech on the flip jump kick. Oh. Alright, here we go. Staying under him with the up airs too. He needs to get up attack to get uh, leave some pressure at the ledge, you guys. Look, look. Boost kick out shield. shield. Nice. Great parry. Oh, the trade. And so far, every every time they needed it in the match, both players have answered the call keep themselves in it, but it looks like you have uh, Jeff reaching just a little bit too hard to try to battle back in. He's got to do a little, a couple more hits before he can really get a solid kill shot, uh, kill opportunity. Oh man, he was looking for that uh, boost kick, but there he just looks in the back air, 51%. Honestly, not too bad. And we've seen that Jeff's been able to get a lot of early kills as well. Oh, okay. This is grabbing the jab him off the stage, see if he Tito, final pressure here. Oh, like, spot up is covered by the up tilt. Yeah, 
know, like just being be very patient in that situation, holding it and getting the up tilt to get out of the corner. Oh. And now he's uh, nice. all the pressure on. All right, Jeff is in a little bit of trouble, danger of dropping this game. Oh, wow. wow, what a connection. Still not gonna get the kill though, but really great combo up to the paralyzer there. All right, here we go. Here's Jeff's opportunity, has him opened up. And probably want to get a little bit more out of that uh, situation. Well, there's the oh, upbeat, that's all she wrote for that game. Shoot. All right, that's one of the things that you gotta be careful of. Uh, like I said, a lot of Zeros just like to just jump in with aerials, but if they do it at the same time, it's actually very easy to punish. And you have to uh, kind of mix up between like empty hop, like uh, grab, or like a uh, forward air instead of just falling there. Paint got the power shield on that uh, falling there and got turned into a stuck with boost kick. So tying it up 1 1. I'll say Payne, uh, not necessarily changing up his initial strategy from the first game, just being more clean and uh, getting his punishes. And yeah. Letting, uh, get that victory done. I think he has a little bit of momentum. You saw him get that up air connected directly to the boost kick. Maybe feeling a little more confident about his play. Playing with a little bit more precision. Let's see if Jeff is able to make the adaptation that he needs to in order to combat that because, you know, as we saw the first game went Jeff's way, second game went Payne's way, rubber match game three, nobody wants to take that long road in loser's bracket, especially yeah, this early. I, yeah, I, I really, uh, especially for Payne being one of the players that got flown out from the compendium, definitely don't want to go out early in pools because, you know, flew you out, came all the way from Mexico, and he's early, it's not a good feel. The hard over stages and uh, these are my favorite stage selection times. In the ditto, which stage do you want more? Oh, we're going oh, we're straight back to Smash back. I mean, it is a ditto. They're both using the same character. And they've been going back and forth. Honestly, stage preference might be similar between the two players. In general. All right. Adaptations aren't going to come from the stage. It's going to come have to come from the player. Let's see if uh, Jeff can dig deep and battle back, or if Payne's going to ride the momentum into a Game 3 victory. Start with the forward air into the jab, crushing him into the ledge. The position with the beers as well, forcing the jump and getting that forward air out right in time. There he is again. He knows that nair timing on the shield really well. Yeah, you might if you're if you're Jeff, you might want to start going back to a more grounded game that you're using game one because it looks like Payne's got you keyed in on the landing timing to parry. Yeah, we already saw earlier that parry led to a boosted guy's shield, so if he gets going for that, it basically leads to losing the stock. Yeah, Payne just here. kind of playing it safe, waiting back, holding it, holding it even. And Jeff just, you know, short hopping left and right. Oh, oh man, he uh, took it the wrong direction, had a huge opportunity to take a big lead. Just didn't quite get it, and we're right back into the, uh, the thick of it. Nice forward tilt to stuff the options, but comes battling back in pain with the forward air. Has him off stage. And it just kind of seems like both players are scouting out. They know that their opponent's going to charge a down smash at the ledge. <laughs> yeah, every thing, time. That's the thing about the ditto is you both know how your character works. You have to just do things that are way more uh, unorthodox to catch your opponent off guard. Double up air, though, from pain looking so solid right here. Oh, gets buried though, drop shield. Though. Oh, that would have been such a good sketch. <laughs> the slight charge against the very animation, but too far away to get the boost kind of shield at time. Still showing that he's ready for the nair. Just gotta be careful with how he spaces that move. Yeah, he's using the grounded one, not the uh, slight aerial one that has a little more horizontal range on the hitboxes. Yeah, because that's a couple opportunities, but he gets the back air. Able to take that first stock and pain just two steps away from taking the set. Oh man, oh they're whipping grabs back and forth. Nope, not even great animation as well. Paint, really great timing. I really like how he's just kind of waiting in mid range to dash on the ground. And then he uh, knows that Jeff's gonna jump in with like an aerial, he's just facing with a, a shield right in time. And getting a lot of mileage, just stuffing out the any aerial approaches with forward air, kind of like we were saying. He knows that Jeff's the game plan is trying to get a high mileage landing neutral air but forward air preemptively stuffing it. Right there, same situation, yeah. just on repeat. Wow, the perfect spacing on the neutral uh, get a punish with the side B. Yeah, pain spacing has just been right outside of range where Jeff wants to jump in with a move. Really helping him out to stay down in the set so far. 
Yeah, it looks like, alright, so there's some adaptation from Jeff going to that Zer to beat that forward air. Um, but of course you have Kane just holding the momentum and just dash right in underneath the Zer to get a grab. And it seems like so far this whole entire game, Je uh, Kane has been one step ahead of Jeff the entire time. Yeah. Really good adjustment right now for Kane. This, this is a situation too where your opponent is behind, so they start throwing out way more punishable things to just get the kill. And the way that uh, Pain just plays so patient, like they punish style, that's just really hard to come back against. Just give me okay. really I just no, very room for, no room for for Jeff to make a comeback. Gets the up special off the berry, so hope burns eternal. But 91% on your last stock, whether your opponent with two stocks left, and it's again, definitely not where you would be. And again, the way that Pain plays, he doesn't necessarily go for anything that's super risky. So even though he's like winning and you're forced to approach, you're not going to just give him three openings on him. He's going to wait patiently and uh, wait for that opening to get the stock. And yeah, does a very good job letting the game come to him. Not force the Ashley too much, except for that YOLO. <laughs> yeah. The YOLO boost right there. <laughs> yeah, he's at low percent, so even if he did get punished for it, it wouldn't be anything too crazy. Right. Okay, got the roll in. Oh, not nah, able to get a follow up. Though. Yeah, he probably didn't know that was going to hit because he probably thought he got rolled behind. Check this with the boost. No. Oh, but just backers him immediately. Even though he got hit by the berry, he just didn't have uh, enough break advantage to really follow up. And uh, Payne's going to take that one 2 1. Honestly, he just adapted really heavily from the first game. Might be the type of player that like needs a little bit more time to get warmed up and really adjust how his opponent's playing before he can just get super comfortable. But uh, great stuff to Jeff. I hadn't heard of him before, but he definitely gave Payne the rep for his money. Show that he's uh, no zeros to be slept on. Yeah, great you know, to... did some really good job getting some punishes. It just looked like the adaptation of Payne preemptively forward airing in the neutral repeatedly. That was just kind of the, the magic bullet that took Jeff out of it. But I think we're immediately getting into the next match. That is Slayers, one of the better Peach mains uh, in SoCal, going back from Brawl. Uh, haven't had much uh, show out in the Ultimate so far. He doesn't get a lot of chances.